guys, today I want to show you how to make a 48 hour no meat ciabatta bread. And I know it sounds like a lot of time to devote to a bread, but it's one of those recipes when you mix it and forget it. The only hard part is to plan ahead of time. So for example, if you're planning to make your bread on Saturday, I would start making it on Thursday. The first day we need to make a starter, the second day we need to make a dough, and the third day we're gonna bake the bread. And remember, do it early in the morning because bread like early people. So each step, the first two steps, will only require one minute of your time. So let's get started. So this is our first day of bread making and we're gonna make a starter. And as I told you, this step will only take a minute. So what we need to do is we need to put in a small container, we need to put one cup of flour, and it's just all-purpose unbleached flour. I'm gonna put it in the container. We are going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of active rye yeast it's that much. You actually don't need a lot. We're gonna whisk it and we're gonna put um, three quarter of a cup of room temperature water. We're gonna whisk it all together. Just make sure all the flour is incorporated. That's it guys, you're done. Day one, that's all we need to do. We're gonna put this starter to proof for 24 hours. Then tuck it somewhere when it's um, warm and dark because the starter doesn't like the light. So you could put it in the oven, in a cold oven of course, or you could just put it in your cabinet and um, that's it. So next day, our starter is ready. And it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have a lot of bubbles. In a large mixing bowl, we're gonna put two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To that flour, we are gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of active rice. Okay. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of sugar. Okay. And a teaspoon and a half of salt. Mix it all together. We're also gonna need a half a cup, just a little bit over a half a cup of room temperature water, to which we are going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, and we're ready to make our dough. So what I usually do in the middle here, I make a little well. I'm gonna put my water with oil in the center, and then I'm gonna dump my starter in there. And either a spatula, I usually like to start it with a spatula and then move it to the handle of the spoon. So we just need to combine all these ingredients. So when you see it starts to come together, then you can move on to your spoon. And 
And with a spoon it's just easy because all you need to do is just use the handle of the spoon. So it's like a, it's like a blade of your mixer. All you need to do is just take a spoon and sort of just move it around so all the flour gets incorporated. Doesn't take long. Just as soon as your flour comes together, we're done here. So next day, guys, our dough is gonna look like this. And I have a glass container, so you can see there's a lot of different pores and bubbles. So what we need to do, and it hasn't been exactly 24 hours, it's been maybe 19 hours or so. So what we need to do, we simply just need to gather the dough. And it's not going to be as sticky as it was before. So we're going to give it a couple spinks, I would call it. Just like that. Okay, and we're gonna let it proof for another two hours. So two hours of our second proof have passed. So we need to shape our ciabatta bread and put it on the baking sheet. Or in my case, I am using uh, the bread stone. If you guys are really into bread making, you should get one of those. It helps your bread to crisp enough and it also takes a little bit less time to bake it. So we're gonna use the stone today and I'm gonna line it up with a parchment paper. We're gonna sprinkle some flour on the table surface. And we're gonna take our dough out. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. So it is a very soft dough. So what we need to do is we need to sort of pull it and fold it. And then pull it and fold it. We're not kneading it, we're just pretty much shaping it. So we need to shape it into a ciabatta bread shape, which is a rectangular shape. So we're just gonna pull it a little bit more and shape it. And it's okay if it's not perfect. So I'm gonna put it on my stone here. First of all, you need to sprinkle some flour. Even though we have um, a parchment paper on our stone, you still need to sprinkle a little bit of flour. Here, and we're gonna take our ciabatta, put it on a stone, and then what I like to do, because that gives a ciabatta a little character, so just dip your fingers in the flour, and we're gonna make some fingerprints on it, just like that. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna cover it with a plastic wrap, and we're gonna let it cook for another two hours. And after that, we can come back and bake it. About 20 minutes before your rice is complete, you need to preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna sprinkle the bread with some flour. And it's ready to go in the oven. When your oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, place your bread in the center rack of your oven. Then we're gonna reduce the temperature to 425 degrees Fahrenheit 
and set the cooking time for 35 minutes. bread has cooled down so let me cut it for you and I'll show you what it looks like inside you see these holes guys this is what a good ciabatta bread looks like and of course you can enjoy your bread with some olive oil and I have this beautiful one from Greece I think it's called Karaniko oil it's a um, it's a really flavorful oil, has a really bold flavor. So we're just gonna put a little bit in the dish. And look how green it is, it's just beautiful. And then we're gonna put a couple drops of aged balsamic vinegar. And I have this one, which is called Barolo et Tartufo. It's a vinegar that has a Barolo wine in it and black truffles, absolutely divine. Just a couple drops of that. And if you like, you can also put a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Then we're gonna cut a little piece of bread. Simply dip it in olive oil and enjoy it. Oh my God, guys, this is really good. So now you know how to make your own beautiful ciabatta bread. And just to let you know, ciabatta is a relatively new recipe. It was created by a baker from Venice, Italy to compete with the famous baguette bread. And ciabatta was created as a sandwich bread. So that's why sometimes you see these little squares of ciabatta that are used for sandwiches. But I really enjoy my ciabatta bread with beautiful virgin olive oil and vinegar as a dipping bread. So I hope you guys like my video as much as I liked making it for you. So give me a big thumbs up for it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on any other videos. Thank you so much. Bye.